let's have a look at the teams. Portugal first of all, they're pretty much at full strength. Deco and Timar, who suffered knocks in the draw against Liechtenstein at the weekend, are both fit to play. There's just one change from what was an underperformance. Miguel comes in at fullback for George Ribeiro. The formation took Portugal to the Euro finals in the summer. The Foreign Legion in defence, Andrade of Deportivo La Coruña, Ferreira and Cavallo of Chelsea. Deco of Barcelona and Manchester United's Ronaldo bring the midfield creativity and Pauletta of Paris Saint-Germain is relied upon for the goals. Well, in truth, Russia are struggling for a team. Their 23-man squad has lost eight players, including first-choice goalkeeper Sergei Ochunikov. Sergei Karayaka is the most recent withdrawal. He's got flu. Two changes are made from the 4-0 win against Luxembourg. An extra defensive midfield player, Dmitry Senikov and CSKA Moscow's Yevgeny Aldonia are drafted in. And Dad, the star of the team, the number 11, Dmitry Saichev, a 19-year-old who scored a hat-trick at the weekend. The man in the middle is from Greece. He's Kyrgios Vassaras. Well, Portugal got off to a flyer at the weekend against Liechtenstein. Two goals in the opening quarter of the game, but then they let it slip. And they played against Estonia at home. They scored four goals, but in the final 15 minutes, just which Portuguese team will we see tonight? We do expect the Russians to be pretty defensive-minded to rely upon the counter-attack. Completely different tactics from the weekend when they hit Luxembourg for fours. Luxembourg's a 37th consecutive defeat in top-class competition. Here is Ricardo Cavallo to Costinha. Such a well-rehearsed team. Here's Miguel, who missed out at the weekend. He's the only player who comes in to the side, replacing uh, Jorge Ribeiro, who was a surprise inclusion. Savin loses out. It's a very nervous start here from the Russians. As he now goes in by the back door, Pauletta anticipating the cross. Sibel Sabrosa, the captain of Benfica. Still only 24, but approaching 50 caps. Deco taken down. It was uh, a major plus to Portugal to have him declared fit a couple of hours before the game. Brazilian born, but an adopted Portuguese heart. Portugal need an early goal to win back the belief of their supporters. The team have been heavily criticised in the national newspapers in the last few days. Deco delivers. Cristiano Ronaldo, a teenager taking charge. What will he do? Who knows? Magnificent turn and not a bad shot either. Well, he was the architect of the magnificent 4-0 win against Estonia. Ronaldo scored one and created three. And he's forced the first save of the evening from Malafiv. who will be his inspiration. It's pretty much a similar performance against Estonia for Portugal. They won 4-0 in the end, but all four goals came in the final 15 minutes. <laughs> Two innocent in that look on the face of Evshiv. That means for him, Ronaldo has swapped wings. Andrade in the sense and it came near his Simao. Deco draws the defender through his legs. Smertin and uh, some retaliation there a second uh, as they call him nutmeg. Andrade now Ronaldo. Pauletta Miguel. Stock of red shirts in there and it's put in by Pauletta. His range three yards out. 
A master poach against Portugal, the lead. Ronaldo again had the key to the door. Pauletta put the ball in, but uh, the linesman was suggesting there was an offside in there, but thankfully for Portugal, it didn't touch the head of Deco. Well, massive thanks, a road to Ronaldo. Palazzo averages over a goal every other game for his country. Smash it. Bully Kim puts him across, but uh, wonderfully anticipated. Cavalier's had an exceptional game in the heart of the Portuguese defence. Xavin. Senikov. Andrade. Rare set piece situation then for the Russians. Only a two man wall. Blocked. Oh, what a good volley that was. What an unconventional save he was from Ricardo. That's Russia's first shot on goal from uh, Schmertin. Double fisted, spectacular punch from Ricardo Pereira. How you save them as long as you save them. It's a great ball. Red alert in the Russian defence. See him out. Or maybe he should have uh, used the extra yard or two and gone for goal himself. Blocked by Anikov. Tell you, hair outside for uh, Scalari. Portugal could just do with a second goal to win over the fans before the break. Let's flick at the near post. Second stab at it. Oh, what a wonderful goal! And it's that man again, Ronaldo! suggested they needed the second goal and it came from Ronaldo his feet and his mind quicker than anybody else's on the pitch stuck it away with such amazing confidence as the others considered their body positions he was away celebrating points now should be in the bag is in there, acting as a decoy. Deco started the move, Vinny is it! That was magnificent! A move he started right on the edge of his own 18-yard box. Skimmed his way through midfield, passed the responsibility, and then finished with a world-class goal. Could be a long evening for those poor Russian coaches look at that that was just the end of a fantastic move from Deco from 18 yard box to 18 yard box 3-0 and a dagger to the heart to the Russian players right on the eve of the half time whistle time for the Portuguese we're into a sting single minute of stoppage time added on first 
half and we've seen uh, two well taken six yard box goals Ronaldo setting up Pauletta Ronaldo scoring for himself but that really was something in the very top draw from Deco mentioned before that you uh, don't always feel that Portugal have got anywhere close to their potential or their maximum they're getting that way tonight they have as the game has worn on become truly magnificent the great entertainer Ronaldo the man who also seems to have everything Deco and the skipper Pauletta the scorer of the three goals making it a very happy stadium at the Avalanche this is the first Ronaldo setting up Pauletta a suggestion of offside against Deco Ronaldo in a very similar position on the field to make it two. And then Deco finishing a move that he started about 40 yards from behind him a few seconds before that. An all-consuming first half for Phil Scolari and his Portuguese team. Maybe edging their way to the top of Group 3 at half-time. It's Portugal 3, Russia 0. When the Russians kick off the second half, it really would need a pretty spectacular comeback from them to get anything out of this game. And I must say, uh, the signs are that uh, the three can be improved upon by Portugal, who have been finishing fantastically, but also playing marvellous, enterprising, attacking football. Confirmation, Senikov and Saichev are off, and Gushev and Kirichenko on their second half replacements. Now replacing Cristiano Ronaldo. Takes it all covers, draws two over and beats them both and that's the only way to stop it by illegal means. Bukhev almost chopped him in half. And the referees had a patient performance. can confirm that uh, Bogayev is the first player to go to the referees. Little black puck tonight. Ronaldo. Moves through the gears. Presses turbo charge. Just 19, if you know what I mean, and the way he scores is way beyond compare. Deco thought his goal was good. This was from another planet. A poetic goal from the Manchester United midfielder. Absolute perfection. Time for change for Portugal. Manny shoes worked tirelessly in midfield. As you can see through his expression. A little shattered is given a break and uh, another workaholic Petit will be his replacement. The final 20 minutes or so. Job well done. Mayakov. Gusev. They take an expert mistake. Russia continues to look for that uh, elusive consolation goal. Smirtin. Worth a shot. Oh, it was more than worth a shot. They get the consolation. And Shavin. Catching the goalkeeper, a little bit cold. Well, he can't begrudge it them from a, a neutral standpoint. 4-0 down, and they continue to plug away. It was a good shot. It should have been saved, in truth. 
Skim just in front of Ricardo. But the only bright spot on a testing troubled evening for Russia. Sasha being second goal in uh, two games. Slovakia, after uh, four games, are plus 12 goals. Portugal now plus nine, so Portugal will be second in the group on goals difference. Slovakia in their uh, four games have scored 15. At the moment, Portugal just the 12. to Deco, passes on responsibility and they are scorers of spectacular goals, Simao shows his party piece. Well, Portuguese television can have their own goal of the season competition all within the 90 minutes of tonight. up there with Deco and Ronaldo as a scorer of spectacular goals. This is his first goal in over a year. I think uh, Georgi Yatsev has gone into hiding little he can do now to stop the rot seven minutes remain 5-1 Portugal a blooded battered torn central defender FC offers his apologies just two more minutes for Russia to endure so now it's cross that's the good news the bad news is against Estonia from this point onwards, Portugal managed to score two more goals. performance for about three decades. Scalari can't believe it, he's creating a monster. The night he won't want to end. The Russians won't uh, out of this stadium quick enough and have sympathy for the coach, uh, Georgi Yartsev, who uh, may not be the coach much longer. Been six top notch goals now. Russia trying to get the eighth goal of this event, but magnificently stopped by Ricardo Cavallo. Well, that tackle was as professionally perfect as any of the goals we've seen tonight. Immaculate timing, may need it again. Pereira shows that he can do a world class job. Two minutes of stoppage time have been eaten up into the final minute of stoppage time. Deco does his best impression of Ronaldo and uh, he gets the Ronaldo treatment all to the floor. Double step over. Well, 
Scolari, the Brazilian coach, has brought in to uh, harness the team. Put the spirits together, but uh, what we say tonight, Portugal have been more Brazilian than the Brazilians. The referee has had another word on Smertin, who has been given sympathy. Oh, seven! Petit with his second. Seven sensational goals. Just what can you do? They are unstoppable on a night that Portuguese fans will never want to end. And that's the goal that gives them a grip of Group 3. Didn't take a deflection. It just moved wickedly through the air. That was dynamite. A magnificent seven. Who'd be a Russian supporter in Portugal tonight? They've got some large supplies of vodka. Well, as they did against Estonia, they uh, peaked very late in the game. As they did against Liechtenstein, they also peaked early in the game. Just which of the seven goals was the best? The scoreline loud and proud at the Jose Avalanche Stadium. Portugal 7, Russia 1.